Today, the House of Commons is debating another subject, we, the Conservatives, as Her Majesty's official and loyal opposition have raised. It instructs the Health Committee to conduct a study focused on rapid testing approvals, vaccine development, personal protective equipment, advice from the World Health Organization, and importantly, why the Liberals closed down our world-leading global public health intelligence network just months before the pandemic was declared. Canadians deserve a government that learns from its mistakes and its, its successes so we can better prepare for the future. That's what this motion will accomplish. We want to offer the government a chance to work with us but the Liberals have repeatedly shut down studies on the pandemic response, just like they shut down Parliament for over half a year. The Liberals want an election. And while Trudeau is off campaigning today, Conservatives are fighting for you in the House of Commons. Listen to what my friend and colleague Michelle Rempel Garner had to say. The motion before the House today is probably the most important thing that Parliament could be dealing with right now, and that is how we as a country collectively move forward to address the COVID-19 crisis. We are in the middle of a time when we're seeing increases in cases across the country, uh, provinces, workplaces, schools, everybody is concerned with this. We're seeing restrictions come back in cities across the country, people lose their jobs, people being separated from their loved ones. We need to figure out how to move forward. Given the uncertainty of a vaccine, we don't know when it's coming. We need a better pl plan forward than just economic shutdown and endless quarantine and endless isolation. And that is what this motion is designed to do. It was implemented, it was put forward at the Health Committee nearly two weeks ago today. Liberal members filibustered that motion. And I will be splitting my time with the leader of the opposition. Um, <laughs> So this motion is before the House. The motion is, the, the motion is very simple. It outlines all of the areas that Parliament should be tasked with reviewing. We're trying to find out what's working, what isn't, so that we can move forward, so that Canadians can have certainty. I had um, a whole speech prepared today, um, but then I got a call from a very close friend in Montreal last night. And her mother, Antoinette Ferry, passed away from COVID-19. But the circumstances in which she passed away could have been prevented if we had a better plan. So her mother, her elderly mother and her elderly father, they did everything right. They completely isolated and they were infected by somebody who helped, helped care for them. Um, best of intentions, but didn't have access to testing, didn't know infected them, um, and they ended up being separated during their hospitalization. Can you imagine that? Somebody that you've been married to for decades, you're separated when you're struggling and suffering, and now the family can't even be with the father because we don't have access to tests. We don't, it's it just, when, when Barb told me about that last night, to me, it was like, this is why we need this motion. This is what we all need to be working on right now. There is nothing in this motion that is partisan worded. It's just saying what's working, what isn't, what have we done, what have we not done, what's best practice around the world, and how do we move forward? But I want to go through, I've been very disappointed reading the media coverage from the Liberals on this last night and this morning, and I want to go through the talking points that they're going to use today, and I want to debunk them. First of all, they're going to say that this is unfair to the civil service. I have great respect for Canada's public service. They are working so hard right now, and I can't believe that any single one of them would want to be unfair to Canadians and not provide this information to Parliament. We need to scrutinize this information. We haven't had a budget in nearly two years. Parliament, our committees haven't sat because of a prorogation. It is past due that every person in this place of any political stripe has access to this information so that we can understand how we can best move forward. The second thing that they've said, and I saw this in a CP article today, is that this motion would paralyze government. Let's be clear. 
The only people who have paralyzed government have been the Liberal Party of Canada. They shuttered Parliament during the pandemic, they prorogued Parliament, and now they're filibustering the Health Committee on this motion. If they actually wanted to study the pandemic or deal with the pandemic, as the Prime Minister said in his motion earlier this week, he will pass this motion. They will vote in favour of it. The point of order that the Parliamentary Secretary raised earlier today about it being impossible to produce these documents, that's a matter for debate. If this government thinks it's impossible, they need to explain and debate why, and they need to propose a motion, and we need to debate it in this place to remind them that's the function of this place. The function of this place is to figure things out and move forward not just make it inconvenient to answer or say that it's inconvenient for the Prime Minister to answer questions I remind them that this place has a role and it is completely right to ask questions like the Canadian press didn't get answers to yesterday a simple question who gets the rapid test when using what criteria the Public Health Agency of Canada the Health Minister didn't even bother returning their phone call so we need these documents. We need to do the job. We need, to, we need certainty. That's why we're compelling this today. There is no partisan language in here. It's simply saying health committee should be studying the pandemic during the middle of the pandemic. And to do that, we need information so we understand what witnesses to call, where to dig, because we've had months where we haven't had the scrutiny and we've had paralysis in getting rapid tests. We don't know where a billion dollars worth of PPE went because they've been obstructing. We need clarity. And we need to do this so that we can plan to move forward, right? If we don't know what's working, if we don't know what isn't, if we can't get answers to basic questions, then we can't have a plan going forward. And that is the role of government. Now, yeah. yesterday the Prime Minister also said, well, you know, does the, do they have confidence in government? Do we have confidence in government? This is a confidence motion. Well, how can we understand if we have confidence on the government's response to the pandemic if we can't scrutinize their actions? And that's what's happened over the last several months. Shuttering of parliament, prorogation of parliament, and committees not sitting, filibustering of committees, especially the health committee. How do Canadians know if they should have confidence in the Liberal government? They, 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 of course, they want to just say, oh yeah, totally have confidence, it's great, everything's working. But there are basic questions that have not been answered. The fact that Canada does not have widely available rapid testing, if somebody's watching this today, try and go and get a COVID test and get your results in 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Try and make that happen. I challenge anyone watching this. You're not going to be able to do it. And it was only when Parliament started asking questions about this that we saw some acknowledgement that this was an issue. That's why Parliament matters. That's why this motion matters. And it matters to people like, who, like my friend Barb and her mom Antoinetta, who lost her life because we need to be asking these questions. She needs justice. We need to make sure that that situation is not repeating itself time and time again across this country. I just, I cannot accept, we cannot, nobody of any political stripe cannot accept that a committee cannot be looking into <clears throat> basic information around the pandemic. The documents that we're requesting in here are completely reasonable for the Canadian public to understand. So for example, we're trying to understand why the government shut down the early pandemic warning system and what impact it had on the spread of COVID-19. And also if that led the government to rely on World Health Organization data as opposed to stuff that's already come in from the country. And they're saying, oh, everything's fine. But then their, their advice keeps changing. They haven't said what best practice is. They're not saying who they're listening to. So how can any Canadians take the advice of the government if the government isn't clear on who they're listening to and why? Right? Right? We were asked, the leader of the opposition was asked a similar question in the press conference this morning. He was asked, well, who are you listening to? Well, who is the government listening to? I'd like to know. I'd like those documents so I can review them. You know, what else do we have in here? We've got, we want to know what the government's pr procurement processes have been around things like PPE. We want to know information about the vaccine, the procurement for vaccines, how they're going to distribute that, what's happening with, with all of these things. We want to know about the government's vaccine task force. These are all, to anybody who's watching this and who might listen to the Prime Minister, the Parliamentary Secretary, or the government house leader try to say that this is unreasonable, the only reason they will say this is unreasonable is because they have something to hide. 
and the time for hiding stuff is over. They have had months of shuttering this place. It is time for Parliament to reign. And if they are confident that everything is going well, there will be nothing in here other than accolades for them. The goal of this information is not to do anything nefarious. It is simply to show Canadians that Parliament cares about figuring out the best way forward. And in, by no standards right now can we say everything is fine. It's not an indictment on anyone. It's just we're just saying that the co number of COVID cases are rising, things are shutting down, and we need to use Parliament to do its job to scrutinize the hundreds of billions of dollars that have been spent on this. Is that investment working? And it's not enough for the Liberals to just say, yep, just take our word for it. No, it is our job to scrutinize that. That's why Canadians pay us. So when the government says Team Canada approach, let's move forward. Well, giddy up, let's do it. Let's get these documents, let's get this committee study going, and let's get down to business. Questions and comments? The Honourable Parliament Secretary to the Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, all memoranda, emails, documents, notes, uh, or other records from the Prime Minister's Office, the Privy Council Office, the Office of the Minister of Public Safety, the Emergency Preparedness, and the Office of the Minister of Health, Health Canada, and the Public Health Agency of Canada, concerning options, plans, and preparations for the GPHIN since January 1, 2018. And that's just one. Just one small aspect of this uh, of this uh, motion that's being proposed by the uh, by the official opposition, Mr. Speaker, and they're saying we want this information within the next 15 days. Ma Madam Speaker, or Mr. Speaker, I'm wondering if the member can maybe reflect in terms of just what it is that she's asking civil servants. How many hundreds of hours does she want civil servants to be spending on this request? Member for Calgary Nose Hill. Yep, we're asking for all of that. I want to know. That's my job. That's my right as a parliamentarian. That is my right to stand up for Canadians, to find out that information. It, it, like, if you listen to his response, Mr. Speaker, it's like, blah, 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 e, 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 can't do, can't do, can't do. Come on. It's been months. We need this information. If he thinks it's unreasonable, tell us why. All I heard was, uh, 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 uh. enough. If it's not reasonable, what's the reasonable date? I'm not accepting next year when we've seen hundreds of thousands of more cases. Enough of that, let's get down.